It's a demo of how we can send external log messages to a frog activity. So we have now a new kind of activity called a cellulo activity. So we can create a new activity. We see here the cellulo test activity. And we have this field called a unique ID. And uh, here we can write anything, but uh, only one activity, um, only one graph that has an activity with a certain unique ID can be open at the same time. So uh, we configure this, and then we go here, and we're ready to start the graph. And now the graph is running. Now, in this case, if I open a student window, they won't see anything at all, because uh, all I'm doing is just printing the data, because this is not really the point in this case. What's the point is the dashboard, and the dashboard is also printing the data. The way this activity is structured uh, is that we have first an, in, an index, and the index um, has the metadata, it's only low test activity. It has some config, which is this unique ID, uh, and it has a dashboard. The dashboard has three stages. It has some initial data, so in this case we say the initial data structure should just be an array. Then it has a merge log, which gets called with the state, which initially is the initial data, and log message. So for every single incoming log message, this function gets called, and it should not return the new state, it should modify the state. So in this case, we take the array and we push the log message onto the array. But uh, in another case, we might have an object with all the robot positions, and we might up update the um, position of one of the robots. Then we have a function called prepare data for display, and this takes the state that is being modified in this function, and this one returns a new state, which is what is being sent to the client, the browser, because sometimes you might have to keep a lot of state locally to be able to know what to update, but you only need to send a few data points to actually be rendered. In this case, we're just sending everything. The final function is the viewer, and this thing runs in the client browser. And this is React code. It gets the state, which is the output of the prepared data for display, and it gets the activity, which is just activity object with the, the, the configuration data and stuff like that. In this case, all we do is we display the data for debugging. So we can see here we have the activity info, so we have the ID, um, and the config, unique ID alpha, uh, and so on. And then we have the received logs, and there's an automated log message that fires every time a user opens this activity. So because I did just open it in another window, uh, we see here uh, it has type activity did mount. Okay. Now what we want to do is, of course, to send a log message externally. So we will go uh, and open Postman, which is uh, a nice little tool to simulate uh, post requests. So here I've inserted the um, URL, API submit log. I'm saying it's the body should be raw of type JSON, and then it should have an MSG object, which should have this unique ID, right? So this is always going to be matching the unique ID that we input into the configuration. Uh, we need to specify the activity type. This should always, of course, be the activity type that we chose. And then the type and the payload, um, I can choose myself. So depending on my needs, you know, in this case, um, well, this doesn't make much sense, but type position, payload, you know, we could have here x44, y, 31, robot, id, 5, or whatever. So payload is just another JSON object. Okay, now I'm going to uh, send this request. And we see that within about two seconds, um, it shows up here. Uh, it doesn't actually take two seconds to um, 
to do the whole uh, workload, but uh, we don't uh, update the we don't update the dashboard more than once every one or two seconds because if there's hundreds of messages coming in, it's um, too expensive to redraw this to send all this data and redraw the screen. Um, so now this doesn't look very nice, but the point is this is where you would have access to all this data and you can render any kind of graph you want. Uh, we can also quickly look at the terminal. Uh, and here we see um, that we're receiving these log messages and, and forwarding them. I'm just console logging to track this. So um, that's it. This is uh, on a branch, and uh, you're happy to, you can play with it.